Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon native tank and we're not looking at this tank for any particular reason. Uh, what I want to talk about for a moment is the melamine foam that I have recently discovered. It's sold under the brand name Magic Eraser, but you can save yourself a lot of money by simply buying the melamine foam rather than the brand name of Magic Eraser. So I've had a few comments about whether these are safe to use in your aquarium or not. And I will address the first comment I got because that was a real event that really happened. Somebody mentioned that there was a incident around 2006, 2007 where some pet food was contaminated with melamine and a lot of animals got sick and died uh, from it. So that incident did occur. It was a different form of melamine than what these sponges are. And the melamine was actually sold in a powdered form as rice flour and wheat gluten and used directly as an ingredient in the pet foods. And again, it was a different form of the melamine, which actually is toxic and does liver damage. So that's what was going on with the pet food thing. It's got nothing to do with these little melamine sponges. By the time this is this shape, uh, this is melamine resin that has been fully cured, and by the time it's fully cured, it's inert. It, it doesn't react with anything. So I looked into whether or not it was safe to use around people and pets and that sort of thing, and apparently if your dog or even your child swallows one of these, the worst you have to worry about is a gastrointestinal blockage, which of course you would have to worry about swallowing any kind of sponge or anything. And then of course, as I've pointed out before, this material, I know it looks soft and squishy, but the fibers themselves are actually almost as hard as glass. And so it acts as a really, really fine grit sandpaper when you're scrubbing over the surfaces of things. So even if, say, a dog uh, chewed a sponge up and ate small chunks of it that were able to pass directly through its, you know, d digestional tract, there might still be some gastrointestinal distress in the sense that you're more or less passing a little piece of fine grit sandpaper uh, through your intestines. So those concerns are legitimate. Toxicity, however, is not one of them. It's not going to damage uh, your dog's liver or anything like that if they do get a hold of one of these and eat them. As far as being put in your fish tank, uh, a lot of people keep telling me that these things break down and they deteriorate and they crumble away and they dissolve in water. <coughs> Excuse me. I have not yet had that experience. So I went in the other room just a moment ago. I took this very sponge and started scouring the fiberglass basin in my washroom. And it's a rough utility sink. It's not my regular smooth fiberglass sink. And if you'll see, there are a couple little sort of worn out divots right here and here where I was, you know, pressing really hard this way and rubbing. And it did apparently rub some of that stuff off. So, having discovered that, I will say that as long as you've got it in there and you're wiping the glass down, I can't imagine how wiping the glass down is going to deteriorate these sponges because I had to vigorously scrub uh, for several minutes on that wash basin in order to get it to uh, deteriorate like that. So if you're cleaning your glass, I don't think there's any issue. I don't think you have to worry about these sponges breaking apart or anything. Um, if you try to get in there and you're scouring your woodwork and you're trying to clean your rocks off and all that stuff using one of these melamine sponges, then you may get a little bit of disintegration of the sponge. It may break apart and break up. But once again, all those little tiny pieces, unless you can, you know, if they're, if they're big enough for you to see them and you can get them out of your tank with a net or something, that's fine. But if they're too small for you to even see them, then I don't think your fish are going to be eating them. At the worst case scenario, they're going to swirl around until they go up the filter or they're going to fall down into the substrate. And remember, it's inert. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't react with anything. There's no chemicals in there that are going to be poisoning your fish or anything like that. So I'm going to restate what I said before, that these are indeed uh, safe to use in your aquarium. And I always cut them up into much smaller pieces. Uh, I actually cut these pieces into thin slices, so I get three uh, thin slices out of one of these. Because I've also been informed these are non 
biodegradable. So when you use one, really use it up, rinse it out, reuse it if you can. You know, get your use out of them before you throw them in the trash because they will last a long time uh, in a landfill or wherever they end up. So there you go. There's my little two cents on whether or not the melamine sponges or magic eraser is safe to use in your aquarium. I'm going to say yes once again. If anybody else has any conflicting information on that or thinks I'm wrong about that, I would love to hear your opinion. So leave the comments down below. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you real soon on the next one.